a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. This is unbelievable. Oh my God, it's getting even better. everybody fantastic to see you all again so this morning me James Mass and Rick are heading up and there's some amazing waterfalls it's rained overnight and hopefully we're gonna be able to get some shots of this gorge it looks epic and as you can see behind me the light is looking good as well we don't know what the sunlight's gonna be like but we'll talk more about that later Oh, this is such an amazing waterfall here. Um, there's a lot of water in it. So I've just found this really nice cascade here and I'm shooting, gonna shoot really wide, probably around about 14, 15 millimeters. I think I'm gonna have to um, put a polarizer on and then I'm just going to adjust it to see how much reflection I get. You can see from where you are there that it drops and there's a little bit of um, a flat area and then it sort of goes up again. I want to be high enough that I see that flat area. So I'll show you on the camera in a minute, I'll move it up and down. But it's, the clouds in the background are nice, there's some nice trees in the background. The problem is there's quite a lot of wind, so the trees are going to move a little bit. So I might have to do two exposures, one for the water and one for the trees. But, oh my God, this is amazing. And James and Mass, I've got some other compositions down there which look pretty good as well. Ah, it doesn't get better than this. Okay, I'm shooting back into the sun now. There's a really nice couple of trees that sort of arch over the waterfall here. So I've got a really nice foreground here. I'm shooting around, I think it's about, yeah, about 20 millimeters. And then you can just see here, that I've got these trees, just as like, it's almost like a little hidden gem, a little bit of a nugget that you might find in the shot. And it just leads you right down. The reflections there is nice. I'm, I'm not polarizing it too much because I don't want to, you just need to get that reflection about right. You can see as I move the polarizer, it changes it. And I want it quite gold. So I'm probably about there. And this area is really important in the shot. What I'm trying to do is have a, a diagonal line between this, which I think is quite interesting, and this here, which is quite interesting. And this is the central area of the image. And then, everything else is sort of leading your eye to that. It's quite a difficult um, exposure bracket, so I've just got to make sure I take a few different exposures, but um, I think it's gonna look pretty epic. I love being out. And the light up there's looking pretty nice as well. I know where Mass and James have gone. Mass is probably at the top of Snowdon by now. Okay, I've got my 24 to 200 on now. I'm actually shooting at 24 millimeters, just a, a wider shot. I've taken some long shots of these trees just here. And 
Um, there's some nice sort of rays behind them, which looks really good. Mass and James down there probably got better shots because um, they've literally been taking them all morning. And um, I think, yeah, it, um, it's pretty epic. But the wide shot I've got here is the valley and I've got the trees up here on the left hand side and then the, the sun's just, just coming into the valley. And I've just got to be a little bit careful of, of flare because I've not got a lens hood. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a shot with my fingers over the sun like that and the shot without and then that just makes sure that I've not got any flare in, in the bottom of the shot. It also just helps to increase the contrast as well in that bottom area, uh, which is good because if you have too much sun coming into the lens it reduces the contrast of the rest of the image. Okay, just as we were about to carry on, the light has just got epic. It's gone behind the cloud a little bit, and that means that we've got these rays coming down, as you can see here. And if I just zoom in here, you can see, oh my God, just in this forest in the background, it, it is so, so nice. So I've got a shot with a bit of clouds in. I'm not gone too tight. and trying to get a bit of a wider scene. I'm shooting at 50 millimeters, and this is unbelievable. Oh my God, it's getting even better. Right, I better take a photo, I think. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. The light streams coming through these trees is just incredible. And just little details that we can pick out. So I've gone a little bit tighter now at 200 millimeters. So you can see here that there's just an amazing sort of minimalist shot just these rays coming down are just absolutely incredible so yeah expect to see a lot of images from here <laughs> on your instagram not bad this is it not bad <sighs> i've done traveling i think i'm just gonna stay here forever Okay, I've got a little bit higher vantage point now and I feel like this might be even better because the trees and the background sort of light rays sort of meet a little bit better. Just before there was some really nice rays coming through here, but I've got the trees on the bottom left and the ridge line behind and you can just see all these light rays just look amazing in the background. <laughs> it's so good, it is so good. Just different vantage points just make such a big difference. It's always worth remembering that, that you know, you, you sometimes get stuck in one location and it's difficult to know whether to move on or not, but I, I feel like it's always good to just try a few different locations if you can. Um, especially when you're doing long lens stuff like this, where if you move like a few hundred meters up, then that might really help. Well, that was amazing up there shooting the waterfall and those amazing rays. I think we've got some fantastic photos. We'll go back to the studio and definitely print them out and have a look at them. And then 
we're going to try and explore some of this incredible woodland around the area where we're staying which is as you can see twisted gnarly oaks and it just looks amazing I'm going to go and get breakfast and then we'll probably come back out and find try and find some shady woodland and see what photos we can get Wow, what a few days I've just had. I am back in the studio now after 10 days shooting with Mass and James as well. We were in the Wales, we were in the Lake District and it was spectacular. This was the first um, morning that we had actually and there's lots of videos to come and I'll show you some trailer of that at the end of this video. So stick around for that, it's pretty epic. Um, so this was, this was an interesting trip actually because we went up hoping to photograph the waterfall which was this image here and obviously I am super happy with this image. You know we've got um, the amazing waterfall coming through here but I really like it, I really like the way that I've just got these trees that are actually in all the images that I shot that day. Just, just here um, the tree works really well and then I really like the, the flow of the water here going through. I experimented with a few different exposure lengths and this one seemed to work the best. And then just this reflected light here just sort of ties in diagonally with these trees. I, I really, really like this. I think it's fantastic. However, the, the shot was all about these trees and the light in the background. I've never ever seen anything like it. The light was so spectacular. And that allowed us to get um, a shot like this. And there was a few different versions of this, as you probably saw in the um, video. But this was probably my favorite from this location. I went higher up and I'll show you one in a minute. But from this location, this was probably my favorite. It's, I've just made a mark on it. See, this is why you shouldn't, on a print like this, do that. <laughs> I've just made a big mark on it. So. It's burnt out there, there's no doubt about it, but shooting into the sun, I think it was all for me about the interaction between these hills and the light and this tree and the light. And I've decided this was best in silhouette. The sun had just come out from behind a cloud and I took quite a lot of different versions of this, but I feel like this worked the best where you can't quite see the valley. Obviously you saw in the video somewhere you can see the valley as well. But with a long lens, you can do so many amazing shots like this and, and shooting into the sun, which was a bit of a theme of the, the trip really, allows you to do spectacular stuff. Before I get on to the next one actually, I just want to thank Squarespace who are the sponsor of this week's video. Now Squarespace, as you know, allow you to set up your website. They're an actual a one-stop shop. You can go and you can set up your um, sell your prints on there, sell your workshops on there, are a great way if you want to get started as a landscape photographer, as a professional landscape photographer, there's no better way than going to Squarespace and selling all your things through there. It worked really well for me, I started with one-to-ones, then I went on to group workshops and then I went on to tutorials and YouTube as you know. But do check it out, it's super easy to do, you need no technical skills, there's a link in the description below, and if you use forward slash Nigel or offer code Nigel with squarespace.com, then you can get 10% off. Okay, onto this next print. So this one here, so I think this one was my favorite. This is we walked further up the waterfall um, to see what else we could see, and then I just noticed just up to the left there was a vantage point and it allowed me to get these trees in a slightly different location. And I really like this. I, th I think this allows me to do both things. It allows me to get a little bit of the light rays through these trees, which had dissipated a little bit by this point because the atmosphere had changed a little bit. But it allowed me to get that slightly different vantage point. And also I really like the layers here. Now this top bit here did have a little bit of cloud information in there, but I just blew it out in Lightroom because I felt like any detail of cloud in this top area just didn't quite work for the composition. I really like this. I, I, I really like all the images that I took that morning. It was so spectacular. But the most important thing is we just didn't expect it. We didn't think that we were going to get um, conditions like that. And it's amazing how many times 
on this trip actually <laughs> with Mass and James that we went out expecting nothing and getting amazing things. The most important thing is getting out. If you don't get out, you can't get anything. So I'm really pleased with all these um, prints um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm chuffed and printing, isn't it fantastic? If you want to get some of my prints, there is still some of these calendars available and um, the 2023 calendar. And um, I'll show you one of my favorite prints in here and it is this one. Speaking about waterfalls, it's this one here. And it's, um, this was in Glencoe actually. And oh my God, this was just amazing with this water coming through. Uh, it just looks fantastic in a print and the calendars, I, I, as I said in a previous video, I'm not charging anything for postage on them. So if you want to get one anywhere in the world, um, there's a link in the description. There's really not that many left. So hurry up and, and uh, if you want to get one because they'll be sold out very soon. Okay, that's it. I'll leave you um, with some of the amazing footage from the next few weeks. I've got about four or five, and there's gonna be a video starting on Wednesday, so make sure you check that out. It's a challenge video with me, Mass and James. It's super funny. They've also got a video on their channel at the same time, it's going out on Wednesday. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've got that bell icon on so that you get notified when it goes live. Thanks ever so much for watching. Till next Sunday, bye. <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? This is so good now.